Okay guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, Tri5 Guy, and today we're gonna be putting in a headliner in a 55, 56, 57 Chevrolet two-door sedan, four-door, uh, just about the same as well, only a little bit of a difference there. So please like and subscribe, and uh, hit the notification tab. Thanks guys. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna put in a new headliner in the 56. It's gonna be a cloth headliner. Cloth headliners are always a little bit easier to put in. Now, these bows are always gonna have some surface rust. And over there, I've got Melvin cleaning the uh, rust off them. Number one, it's always good to do. And number two is, it'll slip into the listing of the headliner better. So, there it is there. We've also got some tack strip to replace in some areas. There's some that go down there. Well, but first we're gonna clean up all these bows, get them all situated, and then we're gonna um, start fitting them into the, uh, into the listing of the uh, headliner. I'll be back. And here's those tubs all seam sealed. I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I apologize for the lighting, but uh, I'm starting to put in the uh, tack strip. So here's a, the old tack strip, and I've already started putting up the new tack strip this area. I'm and the here. reason when you, uh, when you buy this tack strip, um, it's wider. It's way wider, wider than it should be. The original one's as narrow as you see it. But uh, you gotta take off uh, a good, um, I don't know, three eighths of an inch. For some reason, you gotta take about that much off. And uh, don't know why, but uh, old 55, that's the way they sent them to you. Too wide. Okay. Okay, so that gray center section of the listing, they that pokes through here. So the metal section sits up top and just pokes through. And then when you got that done, you just, uh, here we go. The light's terrible, I apologize, but here it is here. And then those spikes will push up and hold it up. The light's back here. Gotta replace the wiring. And I'll be back. Okay, so you got a. I've already got one in. That's the rear listing. Here's the the second to to last listing. And you just got to push it in slowly. Sometimes they go in. That one there was really hard to get in. This one's going in pretty easy. So you get to a certain point where you need help getting it in. Just push it in. Keep going in slowly, and you'll get it in slowly. There's no big rush getting this in. You don't want to destroy the. Uh, Destroy the uh, listing on the on the headliner, and you'll you'll get it in. Sometimes they're a bear, sometimes they're not. There you go, that's it. All right, we're going to come back, and I'll we'll do all the rest of them. All the bows are on the on the listing. They're all on. Here's the front bow, front to rear. So they're all on. I'll stand back a bit. This one here is like I said, the center, and your light goes about here. This one pulls through those tabs, which I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so we've got most of the tack strip on. This is the middle of the hood liner. This hooks up to the, uh, there's some, uh, some like little teeth on the back of the uh, uh, frame on near the upper back window. You'll, I'll show you that later. But here, this is around the center of the roof line so your light's going to be here and here's just a, a rough center as well i'm going to uh, put it in now and uh, start with that center uh, listing there all right so these uh, tabs go through the uh, the listing and here's the med middle of the roof line approximately and you just put it on and push it put it on and Push them through, push them through, push them through, then push them through there. I'll say it one more time, and push that through and then get a hammer, which I should have one here somewhere. Yep. My assistant Melvin with his, the hammer, and we're gonna tap these up, don't hit the wood liner, uh, don't hit the roof, and just, they just need to be bang up a bit and like that and like that and like that 
don't like that. And that's the first one, and I'll be back to show you more. Okay, so uh, I've already got, got the first three bows on. Um, so here's, uh, here's what you do with the bows. Gotta make sure it's inside the listing, which it is. And I know it's a bit dark, but put it on this last one here. I'll just move out of the way here, see this here? There you go. This goes in this last bolt here, and it clicks into there, and around this side, you won't see because of the camera. But just flicks up into here, it's tight. And it clicks into here, see that there? It clicks into there. And then the, this last one, yeah, you pull it back. And this, uh, this will uh, tuck into here, here's these leaps here. So you fold this around like that, and this folds into, into the back here. I know it's loose, but the, when you pull it from the front, when you pull it from the front, it'll tighten up. It'll tighten up when you pull it. You just gotta make sure it's in the uh, tabs that are in the back here. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it sit there because I've gotta start pulling from the front for now. All right. Okay, guys, uh, so the uh, tack strip is on okay for the front now next thing is to do is put on the wind lace so you staple the wind lace onto the tack strip all the way down so start at, uh, at this corner here there's a uh, section there that holds the uh, the tow board in there the uh, side board now that's not we haven't got it here today so uh, what I did I was just taped it out of the way as you can see and traced it back up until the first point of um, the tack strip, which is there. So then I, closer here, then I just staple up and around, staple up and around, go across here, and then all the way down. So, and then uh, the headline retainer screws on. And that kind of like keeps everything nice and flat. And see how that's a bit wonky there? Well, that corner trim piece, the garnish molding, will straighten that out. So next I'm gonna do uh, the passenger side, and then I'm gonna start putting in the bows. There's one bow here and one bow to the front, and that'll be all the bows attached, and then we have to start stapling off the headliner. Okay, be back. Okay guys, this side's done. I've got the wind lace in, and I've got the headlight retainer screwed up. Here's the wind lace, the headliner, retainer. When you get to these corners, sometimes you have to uh, notch uh, the extra bit of material here from here, yeah, from here to here uh, to make the corner because it starts to bunch up and crowd. So just put a couple of little right here notches in the wind lace and, and then just staple it all the way down. Make sure you come up and around here enough. Um, you know, so the uh, sill plate will cover it. Okay. I've already put another bow back in and now I'm gonna do the front bow, uh, the front, it's gonna to attach to the front of the, of the windshield area there. And I'll come and do that in a minute, hang on. Okay guys, when you got the last couple uh, um, bows in, um, you'll also notice that on, on all of these uh, where the bows go into, there's two positions, uh, top, bot top or bottom. I usually just put them on the bottom. Um, but if it's too loose, you just move it up. If it's too tight, you move it down or vice versa. And then, um, yeah. So next thing you're gonna do is, because uh, you've already got all that, all the rest of it sort of up to the front, you gotta start pulling the front and then start stapling it to underneath. I'll oh, just get more light up, there we go and you start stapling it to the underneath um, tack strip, which is on the windshield. Now, if your windshield's in like this one is, it's a bit of a bit of a bear, but it's not, not too bad. And remember, when you pull that forward, this line's gotta stay straight. So don't pull it too tight thinking, yeah, I'm gonna have a, no wrinkles in my headliner. You gotta keep that line straight. If you don't, you, it's just gonna do that sort of snaking and you'll always see when you look up, all right? Okay, so then what I do is I start, um, you know, stapling this bottom bit. I start from the back and I'll work forward 
getting out all the creases, pulling out all the creases. And sometimes uh, it's hard to see on that side, but on you'll see that bracket, see the listing? See that listing right there? Sometimes it gets stuck, like, and it won't let you pull it down nice and tight. So what you gotta do is, I just run a blade, sort of, you know, to relieve the uh, listing from, so the listing will come down, because it won't go past that bracket. You can see it. See there where it's, so I just cut it right in that area there where it surrounds that, that bow and you know and, and it'll uh, relieve pressure and then it'll come down sort of like that so there's one there you can start see where i'm starting to you know pull out all the wrinkles and then then obviously it's not done there yet and i'll be right, back guys so uh when you get to this stage here i've already uh tucked under but the uh, uh headliner retainer is underneath here that's the thing with the teeth there and the wind lace, you gotta go in between the wind lace and the headlight retainer and you just simply push the hood liner up, pulling it down and pushing it up. So you push it up and keep pulling it up like that or pushing it up and it'll pull up. And those teeth grab onto the headliner, the excess headliner. And same with this, and this will all form around again. It comes right around here, all the way across here into here. And then you can go ahead and put on your garnish molding after you've done that. So just, just tuck it up like that and that's it. This is pretty easy, tuck it up under, tuck it up under. There you go, it's nice and neat. Okay. Okay guys, so the bulk of the headliner is in and tucked away. Um, it's filthy, it's got uh, like dust and lint and all over it. So, but uh, there, there it is, it's all in. Um, I'm starting to work on these. Uh, these side glass, they're non-rolling ones, stationary sedan ones. So I'm just getting them to fit. But uh, yeah, you have got to do the posts and the uh, little little uh, area there, the back section of the back glass to the uh, quarter glass. That's got to be done, wrapped up in black um, material. But there it is. There, you know, just a quick uh, install video for a Tri Five Chevy. So guys, please like and subscribe, and I've always got Tri5 and other videos uh, coming out. So please uh, hit the notification bell while you're at it, and uh, keep coming back and watching. I appreciate it. All right, have a good one.